Hey YouTube, welcome to our channel, Nye and Ty Productions. And uh, tonight, I wanted to share with you guys how I achieved this look, which I didn't even think it would come out looking like this, you know? But it looks pretty good. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, I think I said this in the video before my hair, it's been pretty dry. And I was wondering, like, what am I doing wrong? But I went back to the basics of, like, how I used to do my hair. When I first started going natural, and it's so simple, it's just keeping it simple. I think when you try to use too many products and you just try all of these other different ways, you could get, you know, your hair it doesn't know what to do with it you know it's like how should I react to that because you're using so much stuff and you keep changing your hair regimen or whatever so yes keep it simple and stick to what works for you but how I got this style and what I'm going to be doing doing what I am going to be doing throughout the whole winter our fall whatever season we are in we don't really get seasons in California but you know what I'm going to be doing from here on out is I'm going to stick to a simple way that I do my hair because it's like it, my hair grew with this simple style so I might as well just stick to a routine and keep doing the same thing because your hair loves it and if it works for you do I'm telling you just don't <laughs> so I'm just going to share with you guys um, how I do my protective style. I do two cornrows for my protective style. It's the easiest for me d during the week. And then on the weekend, I could just let it down and wear my hair like this. And it's like bouncy and it's moisturized. So how what I used... In this video, which I will show you, I'll show you how and what I did to get this. But I shampooed my hair, which I will only do, I'm going to only cleanse, shampoo, or co-wash my hair every two weeks. But this is the only shampoo that I would use for, for me. Use whatever you want. That does not dry out your hair, though. Keep that in mind. If your hair feels dry, like after a shampoo, you need a better moisturizing shampoo. But yeah, uh, I use the Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Shampoo. I don't use any other shampoo. I love this one. Or I use Cantu, but this one too. I love this one. And then for this, this hairstyle, I just conditioned my hair for 30 minutes in the shower. Wait, no, I think for like 10 minutes in the shower. And it still came out pretty, it still came out pretty soft. So it was just like a quick, you know, but I, you know, if you have time, I would say always condition your hair. Like take time to condition it a good 30 minutes to an hour. But since I didn't have time this week, I just did a quick five minutes in the shower. But if you don't have time, a good five minutes in the shower is okay. So I um used the uh, Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. And it really does tingle. It feels really good. It's great right with peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals. It feels really nice. I would, I would recommend this conditioner along with the many other conditioners that I have <laughs> but that's another thing okay so listen oh I'll say it after all of this so yes this conditioner I use for this this style this time and then um I remember when I first went natural I would always grease my scalp and I would put grease throughout my hair and it almost it always made it feel very shiny and very moisturized. Like it feels so good. So I got some grease, not coconut oil, because I don't know. I like grease better than coconut oil. I mean, this is coconut oil, but it's like still in grease form. So I would recommend any grease 
But I have the coconut oil formula from Palmer's. And I like their grease. Any grease would do. But yeah, I like this. I like their brand of, you know, their different varieties of grease. It's pretty good. So you just grease. I grease my scalp with this. And um, I use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream which I'm gonna stick to. These two together is all I put in my hair. So I would grease my scalp. I'll show you guys, you'll see it in the video, but I'll grease my scalp and then I would use the conditioner and then I would seal it with some more grease. So bomb. And yeah, and that's how I got this style. I wore it all week, just two braids. And then today I finally took it down and it's really bouncy. I was like, oh shoot, maybe I should do this more often. I'm just going to stick to this. But of course, that's what I was going to say. I would say always like once you find the product, product that works well for your hair and it gets your hair growing and feeling healthy, you stick to your main stylers. But be, feel free to you know, experiment with any conditioner to condition your hair, any deep conditioners, I would explore so many. But where we always go wrong is always trying to use so many different products to style your hair. But you just keep it simple because your hair knows what it likes. So just stick to that formula and you'll get good results each time. So yeah, I'm out of breath like I've been running. Goodness gracious. So that is my tip for you. <laughs> so I will go ahead and share with you guys how I styled my hair for the week and got this look by the weekend. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> so let's begin. Here I am going to separate my hair into first two sections and then I always separate it again um, in two more sections on each side and I am just going to begin greasing my scalp and um, you know grease all you know four sections and then use the leave-in conditioner and get my hair really nice and moisturized before I begin to braid. And of course, I have already washed and conditioned my hair in the shower. <laughs>
Okay, we can go ahead and start braiding our first corn row. Okay, so you would just repeat, of course, the same process for the other side of your head. I go ahead, I, well, I didn't show you guys this part, but of course, I went ahead and I greased my scalp completely on this side. I put the leave-in conditioner, um, and then I sealed it again with the Palmer's coconut oil grease. So yeah, and you just finish braiding this side and there you go. And for this week, I like to put my two braids, um, I bobby pin them up so they're not in my way. You can wear it however you want. I don't mind looking like a 12 year old for the week because <laughs> I know by the weekend it will be nice and moisturized and bouncy curls for, you know, the weekend. So yeah. That is it. <laughs> enjoyed that video and I will see you next time and I hope it was helpful again know what your hair likes stick to it don't ever try to you know steer away from that formula formula because like I said your hair knows what it likes and when it likes something it grows and it's healthier that way so you just stick to that Experiment with conditioners, but girl, once you get it down packed of what the styler should be, you stick to this and just try different styles, like different protective styles, but always stick to something. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and again, I will see you next time with Nye and Ty. Peace. Good night.